Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Just getting everything up and running on my end. Go on. myself. Hello, hello. All right, let's do this. Bow, bow. So yeah, we've got a, a brand new map on the workshop. Looks pretty cool. It looks kind of like a... Kind of looks like a World at War slash... Uh, World, World at War slash World War Two style zombie map. So it's got a pretty cool, um, cool vibe to it. Uh, let's load this up. Just launch you now. Hey, does Fang says how's it going? How was the weekend for you? Yeah, it was good. Um, yeah, we're doing. I'm um, uh, can say more in about a month's time, but. All sorts of stuff going on at home at the minute. Um, all good stuff, but just means I've been really busy. Um, yeah, I'll say more um, in a bit. Yeah, how was your weekend? Was it good? Basically, I did a lot of driving on, on the weekend. A lot of um, sort of family and stuff. Uh, but no, it was good. Yeah, my brother's got a uh, my brother's got a baby on the way, so I'm gonna be an uncle. Um, I was helping them put a floor in, so we're basically yeah doing a whole load of DIY all day on Saturday, then Sunday with other family. So it's been non-stop, um, non-stop. Yeah. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we got this map here. It's this is called uh, German Survival Supply Depot. German Supply Depot, I believe. Um, links are in the description. There it is. Um, I threw a really quick mod together for this because this map has certain symbols that um, might get the video blocked. So I thought Let's play it safe and um, replace those. So you can probably imagine what those symbols are, um, being a World War Two map. But I will show you. So show you where they're replaced if it works. That is, we'll see. Um, oh, I forgot to I forgot to post the stream link. Nice. Did I even tweet? Did tweet tweet? No, I didn't. Okay, let's put that there. Dude, this is cool. Wait, the sound though, the sound level is quite low. Um. Is that, is the sound level all right? Yeah, it looks all right now. Oh God. Oh God. Okay. Yeah, it's got a grittiness to it. And the sounds, the animations of World War II. Um, but then it's got like the, the, the assets. And the placement and whatnot of kind of like what it's like in World at War. So it's like a World World at War, World War Two hybrid. Yeah. I kinda wanna um Yeah, I kinda wanna test a couple things real quick. So I'm wondering Yeah, if I do this. Yeah, what do you guys reckon about this? Let me do display. So this is the map normally. This is it with some edits. Bro. <laughs> yeah, I like being able to see, man. There's a soul chest. Okay, we're filling up a soul chest. 
Whoa, what the? How fast is that zombie? Oh, there's a, there's electro. Oh, maybe we need to shoot that with a wonder wall. Usually when there's like electricity like that, that's like a one wall shooting thing. He's, uh, there's a dead guy with a, a car 98 or something there. Okay. Bro, this is a cool, this is a cool map. What was that sound? Well, I might tweak these settings just a little bit. Yeah, this is it without the change. It does look a little bit more gloomy, which is kind of nice. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to tweak the settings a little bit more. Details, maybe. Can we get a crawler? Are we able to make a crawler right now? I guess not. I guess not. So I'm guessing with the color, I don't want a tint. But I want to add to the vibrance like that. There we go. Yeah, this is cool, man. This is a cool map. How you doing, devil? What's up, bro? Haven't seen you online. I've been online. I've been in my usual streams. Haven't missed the stream. Oh, I didn't mean to grab that. I'm just in my own head, like in my element here. This is a cool map. I'm taking it all in right now. This is cool. Yeah, how you doing today? You doing all right, local baby? Good to see you, bro. How's my day going so far? Yeah, it's really good. Good day. I literally just got off work. And, um, yeah, excited to, to, to stream. There's a little skull thing over there. I don't know if that's like a, an Easter egg step or something. We got soul chests in here, so... It's possible that there's, um... Possible that there's more Easter eggy bits in here. Okay. Get those kills in there. Is it a grow soul or just a normal soul box? It looks like the make sense one though. Always going. Well that's good. Going is good. Yeah, just been a been a busy one today. And been looking forward to the stream. I got a lot of things on at the moment. It's gonna be a very busy month for me. Um, but no, it's good. Woo! Busy is good though. Oh, we've completed that one. Okay, we complete that one, so we gotta fill up this one now. Okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, baby. Yeah, we're going to need some nades about now. Okay, okay. We got the double points on right now. Can you see the mod? There's the mod, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That's all it does. <laughs> We've got the bar on the wall. Oh, there's a box over there. Let's go straight over to the box. See what we get. But yeah, the mod replaces a certain type of flag um, to a streaming friendly one. <laughs> 
you probably guess what the flag was before. Because it's I kept the basic silhouette. Right. Is there something in his pocket? Oh no, it's just a little uh, ember. Yo, the head, the head movement's crazy. Yo, I'm going down. Woo! I probably should have been a bit more uh, crazy with the with the shooting there. Almost, uh, that could have been bad. I'll try to be careful with my ammo. You just turned 43, so you're going good. Oh, dude, let's go. Happy birthday, man. Was it? Is it today or is it uh, on the weekend when you turn 43? Nice one, man. Oh, that must be a music Easter egg. I think we'll leave that. What is this telephone? Got some power. Yeah, it's definitely got World of War vibes. I have no idea where I'm going. I didn't know Panzer spawned on this map. I didn't know Panzer spawned on this map. Oh, there's a power door. Oh my God. What is going on? <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Bro, I don't know what to do. What the? There's panthers on this map. I had no idea. Okay, we need some jug. We need some jug. Oh my goodness me. Okay, where's power then? Power first. Where's the power on this map? Bro. And magically. Bro. Wait, is power down this way? Patch, how you doing? What's up? Oh, is that open? No. Bro, 55 months is crazy. Huge thank you, Patch, man. Absolute legend, bro. Did it show the text? VIP, VIP now, yeah, bro. Yeah, we got the new, uh, new membership icons. Bro, thank you so much, man. Very, very kind of you, dude. So I can't give you the eye contact, because... I'm gonna die. I'll try not to. I don't think I can prevent it though. We gotta find, we gotta find the power switch. I had no idea there were panzers in this map. Maybe I should read the features more often. You know, when I'm, when I'm downloading and playing, I'm, oh, there's another summoning thing there, okay. Yeah, that's gonna be good. Chowick, is that is that what that's called? This is super cool though, man. I'm digging the 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 style. There's another one there as well. Oh my god! No, don't die. I know. Yeah, I don't want to die. But yeah, you can tell. I uh, I replaced. So I I made a mod for this map uh, to replace those flags. Because it's a World War II style map. And you can probably imagine 
what these flags are uh, in the actual map. I thought they might cause an issue. So uh, if I'm streaming it. So I've replaced them to something very friendly. Um, yeah. <laughs> so there's that. Um, right. I am looking for... We've got summoning keys to find... Uh, oh, God. Yeah, we've got a little bucket thing there. I think there's only summoning keys there. You guys, if you have not smashed that like button yet, please do me a huge favor and hit that like button. I appreciate it. That'd be awesome. So yeah, we've done two of the of the soul chests now. I probably want to speed them up. I do want to check and see where all these uh, soul chests are. So that's a power door. What? Huh? Wait, there's numbers? Wait, what sort of Easter egg have we got in here? What? Oh, there's a little radio? Okay. There's a summoning key here. Well, how many... Why didn't he hit me? What, for one? But yeah. There's summoning key there. Summoning key there. And I think we still got one. I think we still got one outside as well. Not very PZ, I imagine, yeah. Hello, mate. Oh, God. Okay, he's still alive. I'll use the nuke to fill this up. That'd be good. I don't think this is a good enough gun. I don't think this one's a good enough gun. So we're gonna we're gonna switch it out with Not with that! No, not with that. No thanks. Yeah, this is quite a challenging map. Pounds are, pounds are around seven without any perks. No power. Hello, mate. We've got you over there as well. So. Alright. We're filling them up. We've still got uh, four summoning keys to finish. Quite a few. Why do I feel like there's a pounds are about to spawn? Oh, we definitely want to get a better weapon. We want a ray gun to deal with the panzer. My mind is always open. Is that the power? There's so many of these uh, uh, really fast sprinters. Oh my goodness. There's still one here. Okay, let's quickly go see. Is there power down here? Oh, there is. Okay, that's good. Oh, 
okay. Oh, we got him, we got him, we got him, we got him. Okay, main threat. Base, base threat is over. But hot damn, it is, uh, this is still crazy. This is not easy. Who made this map? Uh, Chon... I, I can't remember his name exactly. Ch 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 Choney is his name. Choney. Yes, yeah, out in the workshop. It is the number two most popular map of the week right now. Um, and I really felt like I really felt like playing it. So, uh, yeah, here we are. Oh, this map is cool, and it's, it's bigger than it looks. It looks like we can go into this area here. We can. Oh God. Dude, I hope, that, I hope that music's not copyright. The music's off, but it's on. Bro needs to put it in the music level. Come on, bro. Oh, man. Why do you do this to me, man? Don't get me banned. Right. What we got around here? So, little traps. Yeah, I'm wondering if there is, like, an Easter egg around here. Oh, this... Oh, they didn't count? Not close enough? Whoa! Oh, he's still filling up this one here. Okay. Is there a perk limit? Oh my god, there's a perk limit. There's a perk limit, guys. Maybe there's a way that we can get some free perks. Dude, the drop from the ceiling there is so dangerous. You gotta be on your feet. Oh my. Right, let's go see what we got over here. So, the big anti-air turrets. Big artillery rounds. I like this. I like the choice of models used. It kind of reminds me of like a mind mirror map in a way. We got a trap there. Got the SCG on the wall and the dead shot as well. Or the MP44 is this one. Sometimes cool. Um, okay. Got a little box location here. Otherwise, that is pretty much it. We've got one door that we can buy. So, I think what we'll do, we'll see if we can make a crawler. Just checking if there was a soul chest on that skull. I wouldn't be too uh, surprised if that was the case. Dude, look at that. Okay, so we got we got a couple crawlers. It's just what we need. They don't say I can't see any more summoning keys. So far, all of the soul chests have been little summoning keys. So there might be there might be summoning keys down here in our YouTube friendly bunker. Oh, bro, the uh, PhD. Okay, 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 okay. We got over here, 4K. We got the pack of arms, okay. Let my souls. 
Okay. So I gotta find an. Oh, there is one there. Oh, I thought that fuse might be part of an Easter egg, but I think it's just a cosmetic thing. Hmm. Sabine, how you doing? The last couple times you've joined, I think I've been like literally finishing up my stream and uh, heading off. So I'm glad you've made it to a, a stream. To be honest, I'm streaming a little bit earlier than usual. Maybe that helps. Oh. He's so slow. This is a cool looking map, isn't it? It's quite basic in terms of the, um, the amount of actual layers of detail. But model-wise, um, it's very good. Like, there's a lot of models out. It just looks like he doesn't know how to blend textures. Well, we've got texture blending here, so I mean, it's not the case. It's also very, very flat. Um, like, having, like, the, the walkable path, like, pressed down about half a foot would really, really improve the, the look and feel um, of the map. Okay, coming down here, mid-round is uh, probably a very, probably a very stupid idea. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna whoa, is there element one five down there? I'm gonna pack a bunch of this thing. Let's do it. Wall PBSH. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that. I thought I don't have enough money for that, but I definitely do now. Thanks for reminding me. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pressing buttons on this thing, but... <laughs> Are we done with the soul chest? No. It's still filling. Still fill in. How am I doing today, K Gaming? I'm doing great, man. How you doing? You alright? I'm 3D printing a vase at the moment. Do you say vase or vase? Put one in the chat if you say a vase. Two if you say vase. Vase or vase. 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 The more I say it, the less I know what I actually say, I feel like I phase fast, phase fast. Yeah, phase. I think I've got a phase. Pat says vase. A vase. Yeah. Well, let's let's do another poll, okay? If oh god, hang on, hang on. Let me just cry and run away real quick. Whoa. Oh, no free perk? Okay. Whoa. Missed it. Two question mark. So, vase or vase? Vase is in like craze, or vase is in Mars, like so. Play you put plants or flowers in, like or flowers, vase or vase, 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 vase. I don't know what I say now. I've said them so many times. I don't know what's right. You was recently told that Porsche has a pronunciation of Porsche. Once again, two point one out secretly. Yeah, I don't know. I think, yeah, it's known as a Porsche, isn't it? I just, I've always called it a Porsche. Porsche. 
I don't know. I've heard, oh yeah, I've heard people call it a Porsche. Yo, I shot the bottle and it went, so maybe we can get a uh, Perkaholic Easter egg in here. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. We need more towns to be shot. Um, actual sound there. Stamina, stamina. Okay, you know what? You know what? We're gonna try and uh, save like one zombie. Oh my. Yo, chill out with the long arms, mate. Holy moly. Let's see what we get. Oh, we got a little army. How do. Oh, okay, so we got. With the three crawlers. They're still spawning though, right? Well, it doesn't sound like they're still spawning, I think. Maybe just a couple respawn. It definitely sounds like there's quite a few respawning. Right, please tell me that is it. Okay, okay, okay. So we're looking for uh, perks right now. Whoa, you're a sneaky one. Okay, okay, okay. No perk bottles in there. Is that a perk? No. Okay, okay. Oh, that's what I sound like at the end of a Saturday night. Got the teddy there. Mm. All right, all right. Wine. You're a fast one, aren't you? Yeah, I can't find it. these perks, man. Maybe out here. What is the chances I would do that? Look out the window and it's like exactly there. What the hell? What the hell? Alright, so we're looking for all of the perks. We've shot a, I believe, a speed cola, and we've shot a, um, was it a PhD? Are the other ones going to be as easy to see? You wouldn't put them all the way up there, would he? Maybe. Or on the roof, on the edge of the roof. Not seeing any on the edge of the roof. Ow. Got attacked. Uh, I think I think there aren't any other perks there. Right, let's go and have a look. Two sugars, please. Oh, the vase is vase, 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 vase. I don't know what I say now. Vase. I'm just gonna say vase. The vase is almost done. Vase. Vase. Vase sounds right. The vase. <laughs> oh, God. The vase is, uh, yeah, it's it's almost done. Oh, okay. So we're looking outside the map right now. Trying to find 
more more little perk bottles. I don't know if you would hide it through like a grated uh, mesh. Because it's kind of... We've got a hurt trigger on there? No. It's kind of horrible to um, to look through this this wall. I think that's why people put those walls, those fences there, because you don't need to do as much detailing behind them, because they kind of they kind of block a lot of your vision anyway. Yeah, I'm struggling. I can't see any uh, more bottles there. So, oh mate, I want to be that guy. We got down here. Are you on? Yeah, you are. I can't even see what it is. It looks purple from here. I think it's a PhD. Okay. There's a skull there. We've got a little. Yeah, we shot that one already. Okay. Okay. None of those look like perk bottles. Um, okay, okay. Oh, there's one here. Wait. Try and buy more perks. Oh, because I've shot bottles. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, I'm wondering a PhD. I don't think, because the Panzer is not one that fires those fuses. I don't think it's as important to get PhD. The PhD is really important with the Panzer. If they're the ones that shoot the, um, shoot the, like, explosive fuses things, then... Um, then it's really important. Yeah, this is... We got the, um... We got the hook grabber one. I don't know what their technical names are, but... Hopefully you know what I mean when I say those things. The old hook grabber. Captain Hook. Yeah, I'm not seeing any bottles... Over that way. Um. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit minim minimalist. Um. Like. Model-wise on this map. In places, but. It's quite good. I kind of am ruining the ambience of this map. A little bit. By changing it with a filter. Like it usually looks like this. It does look more ambient. And like more gloomy. But I I kind of like see where I'm walking. Yeah, you may wish to play it. How it was intended to be played. Um, maybe there's one out here. It doesn't look like it. Hmm. Yeah. It, 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 it. I don't know. Maybe there's a bottle out here. Some of these models, like these ones here, aren't meant to be used that close. Because they're like Vista models. So they look too low resolution. And they kind, kind of kill the ambience. A little bit. Or the, or not the ambience, but the immersion. Um, but, yeah, it's a very nice theme map. And uh, there's lots of little intricate place models for a good vibe. Some stuff like this 
like I don't you got cable runners that don't go into like the ceiling. I'm gonna find something there. Yeah, I think that's the music Easter egg. Uh, that last teddy there. Oh, look, we we definitely we shot that one already. Um, well, let's buy. Uh, let's buy. Oh yes. I. Uh, you know what? I think you're right. I think the bottles that we find are ones that extend the the perk limit. Which is quite a nice way to do it. Doesn't feel too overpowered like you're just getting all of them for free. Like you do in my maps, I guess. And we're looking for any other perks out here? That still looks sus to me. I don't know how to get rid of that. Um, Yeah, the sounds in this map are lovely. All sorts of gloomy vibes going on here. Very cool. Looking in all the little cracks to see if I can find like a little cheeky perk bottle that's hiding away. Um... Nothing major jumping out. Did I get the perk change here? No, I didn't. Okay. People don't like use the jump function enough, in my opinion. Like players should have to jump to spot stuff. But yeah, it depends on. How many people you want to solve on Easter egg, I guess. Not everyone's gonna. Not everyone's gonna go out of the way. I kind of feel like that should be an interactable. Um, like those radios because of injuries. They uh, they're interactable. So. Yeah, I don't know. Is there... I'm not seeing any soul, uh, summoning key over here, so... I don't know if there is... Any more to... Mm, I don't think there's any more... Any keys over there. I don't know. Do we know if the the teddy is actually a music Easter egg or is there a chance it's part of a different Easter egg? Rad Nebula, how you doing, man? What's going on? Oh, there is a summoning key here. Oh, we found it. Nice. Okay. Let's um let's crack on. See what that gets us. I didn't even spot that. So yeah, I think that's the last summoning key. We can try enabling this as well and see what this is like. This is cool.
Yeah, this is pretty cool, bro. It's weakening them enough to make them a little bit easier to kill. I know we got insta kill right now, but I'm talking pre insta kill. But we can weaken slightly. Hey, there we go. Okay, so we've done the Easter egg. Trapper's recharging. Okay. How much is the uh, Bible ending? 40,000. Okay. This is cool, man. See, once again, this is what it's meant to look like. Like this. It does look good like this. There's one on stamina. Let's go have a look. PBS8 doesn't seem to be as powerful. The little movement animations does make it really hard to hit them. Right, we're one on stamina. Let's go have a look. I feel like if there is one on stamina, I totally missed that. I don't see one in there. Did you mean a different perk, maybe? Inside the car tank. Oh. Yo, good eyes, man. Or did you look on the uh, line? Oh, man. Okay, we've got to get 40,000, which is another 15k. Whoa, they got long arms. What a reach. It's the hardest to... Uh they're the hardest type of zombie to kill based on animation because when they're running at you they're kind of going like this like the head's like always moving out of the way so it makes it quite hard to just line up your cursor and get headshots i'm tempted to see how m how many perks we can get though because we've shot all the perk bottles That's quite a few. Oh yeah, uh, oh, I went by me. Go and look, have a look. I'll go get some cherry though. Cherry. 
Okay. We've got quite a few perks now. I'm wondering if the amount of perks hidden in the map that you can shoot to unlock more perks is equal to the perk perkaholic that you can then buy. So if we can get the mule kick, then that means that he's thought about the numbers very carefully. Um, I think in the middle of the round, I'll go grab that. Not in the middle, the end of the round. Let's, let's go see. Oh, nice. Okay, so yeah, there's one less. Unless we missed a perk. I mean, with how sneaky that one was, I wouldn't be surprised if we did miss one. You know? One hiding up on the tree or on the roof somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, we are almost there. I've got to figure out, after beating this map, do we go and do some development? Or do we play another map? It didn't take... It didn't take particularly long to, to play this map. In 50 minutes. Maybe we go work on um, go work on Jake's house for a bit. Jamie be staring. Oh, oh yeah, I was I was tempted to work on that. I think it's a Jamie project, a commission project, and the and the Jamie one's not. So I gotta prioritize um, commissions. Hi, Lane German. Okay. What? Yeah, man, what a nice little map that was. That was cool. There is one on a literal tree. <laughs> I called it. But no, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Uh, it's a nice map. Definitely go check it out. Yeah, the link to the map is in the description there. Um, I'm thinking that we should go and work on um, work on a zombies map or something. So I think that's what I'll do. Let me uh, let me close this down. Let me close this down. Let me put the tunes back on. So I set that on. Yeah, 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 yeah. We yeah, all good, Nebula. I don't know if I replied to that. Revs, hello, what's going on? Hope you're doing well. Yeah, man, I'm doing well. Sorry I didn't see your comment there. That was a pretty hectic map. Yeah, pretty hectic. Right. What do we load up JME? Maybe we load up the JME map. Hmm. I'm not burnt out. Look, dude, I've literally just been working on it. Stop making stuff up, Gad. Mr. Gad. <laughs> um, right. If we go to...
It's all in my head. Hmm. Right. Uh, let's see. Um. Yeah, I don't know if you've been watching, Mr. Gab, but yeah, we've done loads of the JME map recently. We've literally done a complete overhaul. I mean, I'll open it up and show you guys. Right. How are we doing, Banjo? What's up? Be no Banjo. Um... Writing on the screen. I don't know what you mean. Don't know what you mean. Is it this one? Yeah. Have you seen it like this, Mr. Gand? Yeah, we uh, replaced all these with models. We've done a lot of work on this recently. Really been um, working away. If I don't work on it for one minute, Mr. Gad's throwing loads of shade at me. <laughs> Saying I've forgotten about it. Nah, man. It's a passion project. I'm going to be... Uh, Working this as much as I can. Oh, okay. Why does the output look so low res? There, what's that about? Is it because it's scaled? Yeah, the. The output looks low res. Properties. I don't know, man. That just looks, that looks different to me. Like on my screen, um, everything looks a lot more higher resolution and sharper. And then on the stream output, it looks like, it looks lighter and, wait, is it the screen? It doesn't seem to be the screen. Okay, wait, let me check over here. Oh, it must be, it must be the screen. Yeah, I guess that monitor is just lighter than this monitor. <clears throat> Said something like, welcome to Lever Company. Oh, that's just, uh, that's just a bit of, yeah, that's my, my text. If you Google credits, Ice Grenade, You'll be able to find the script. It's just the uh, eye print bold. But yeah, I know we've been working on this. Um, I'm going to close this down though, and we're going to open up the uh, the Jake House map. I want to know how many hours I put into this already. Well, yeah, everything just died. Uh, can you still hear me? Yeah. Nice. 
I'm alive again. Let's bring this back. Nice. Um. Yeah. So we did. How long did we do? Stream. So we did two hours already. Um, and I did a little bit of work on this on the weekend. Yeah, I've started building out the um yeah the up the upstairs the, and the ceilings and everything. Um yeah, we still got a bit to do. Let me finish doing the, the floor. I don't think we want the floor that thick though. It probably needs to be like the same thickness as this. So I need to bring this down. I'm going to do a, th a, a height check real quick though on the difference between, um, yeah, on, on here to here to here. So we got 128 and then we got, oh, we're just shy of 128. So I think what I'm going to do I'm going to bring that down to 128. Yeah, I think we'll bring that down to 128. Because I want, I want the, to, the standards to be right on this. Okay, so... And then this thing here. Right. Did I miss this? Uh, I haven't touched that level. Okay. So I kind of want to grab the, the floor. Um, do the same floor thickness. So this guy... Oh, am I using that roof though? Uh, do you know what might might be wrong though? If I let me check the let me check the heights here again. Yeah, 128. So that is correct. Okay, so I want to check uh this floor here doesn't feel deep enough. Yeah, I'm wondering if for the majority we go with like that thickness. <sighs> um, what is the thickness here for that to that? What's the 128? Okay. Okay, okay. So. Um, yeah, that's just the, uh, blueprint. Okay, so this to this to this. We want to probably bring all these down. So they're all 128. Yeah. Okay. All right. What do I want the thickness of the roof to be, though? Probably this thickness, so whatever that is. 32. Yeah, anything... Anything thicker than that is kind of like over the top. So, anything thinner than that uh, seems too thin. But it probably is thinner than that. It'd be better for spawning though the thicker we have it because we want to be able to spawn zombies upstairs and if there's a player downstairs when you stream when you spawn zombies upstairs you don't want the player um seeing the the cloud of smoke effects from the zombie spawn um so yeah, if you make the floor a little bit thicker then it's a good way to cope with that 
Okay, or counter it, I should say. So this one, I think this is ceiling is. Is that one the right height? Well, that one needs to come down a couple clicks. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to keep the the grid a lot cleaner. So like clear um clear separation between the floor and the walls. It's super helpful. It's easier to do everything. Yeah, I think I leveled all of these to the wrong height. Where is this? Okay. Yeah, that's all right. Let's bring it down to there. Yeah, there's so much to do on this map. We'll be alright though. Keep up the uh, the pressure. We can get it done. Well, there's rest, that's an outer wall, so that might need to be thicker anyways. We can leave that right now though. Because I believe that will be visible outside. So what's everyone watching on TV at the moment? Are there any series or anything that you, you're watching? We've been watching that Is It Cake, but we, I think we've, we've just finished the, the most recent season of it. So it needs, needs something you need to watch, really. Halo. Is that on Prime, is it? I don't know if Ram was into Halo. That might have to be one that I watch myself. Without Rama. Is it is it any good? You love it, it's a lot like the video game. Cortana. <clears throat> I haven't played Halo in a while. Love Halo though. Classic. One of my favourite games. You downloaded Fallout on Amazon. I watch any yet. Not fair. So what a faff this is getting all these heights right. It's definitely worth doing though. Okay, so I want to get these all right. Yeah. 
Yeah, this this height is wrong, so let's get that right. Um Okay. Cool, yeah, this bit here, I'm going to need to bring that down. We need to clean this up a little bit, though. Not the cleanest. Let's go with something a bit more upbeat. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, that back wall. We'll just hide that for now. Yeah, I'm thinking I probably want to bring it to this wall. If I just go like that, and then we'll just chop across, um, and then we can get rid of you. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. Do I want to maybe bring that in, and then... Am I able to? I'm just wondering. This is quite um, like a scuffed layout at the minute. Just wonder if I. Grab these, so we got like a reference. And then what I'll do is, uh, I think I'll turn this into one. I'm just gonna go like that. And then we'll bring this up to here. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that already looks like a bajillion times cleaner. Let's see what that looks like on the outside. You watched John Wick 4 the other night. Really good. I don't think I've seen... Uh, John Wick 4. I loved the... I loved the original. Well, the, not the original, but... I see 1, 2, and 3. Well, they were good. I think I remember the first one the best. The most. I, um... I don't know what it is, but... I never... Ugh, there's not many films. Like, new films that I watch that I really remember really well. They're not like locked in my brain, like if if I'd watched it like twenty years ago, for example. It's just part getting getting older. Long term memory storage. <laughs> I don't know. Yo, this one here, this is the wrong Side window, medium. Yeah, I accidentally changed this. Oh God, man, that's not right. That's not right. Um. Uh, okay. Let's just stamp it. 
Plankton is awaiting my response, wants to be my friend. Or well, the Plankton from Spongebob. Oh my god. I guess so many people that I don't don't recognise add me on Steam. If anyone ever wants to add me, it just talk to me. Don't just add me and say nothing anywhere because I don't know. Life's being a streamer, I get the same. It's annoying because I, I, I can't accept everyone because there's a limit to how many people you can have. And if I accept everyone, then when I actually need to add someone, I can't because it's full. Oh yeah, I probably need to enable the floor for this. Oh wait, that is the ground floor? Oh god, okay. Well, I've lost a wall somewhere. Yeah, Brayden, we were just playing it. If you scroll back. How you doing, Brayden? You alright? Yeah, I made a I made a streamer friendly mod for that map. Uh, if you wanna run it with the with the mod, don't risk your channel getting banned. This one. Bring that down. Yeah, it's good to see you, Brayden. The P if you pack the PFP, oh, we did pack the PPSH. I just didn't read the name. Brayden's PP. Nice man. That's sick. How did you get him to set it to your your name? level the thickness of this wall out. Super chubs. What's super chubs?
Super Jump Smooth Trainer. Yo, what's up? Never heard of it. Do you know what I've been thinking of recently is starting a, a Discord for like small streamers, like streamers with less than. Well, if you're a big streamer, you want to join, that's fine. But like for just for streamers to talk about things and help each other out with like, you know, if there's an update to things to inform each other things, give each other feedback on thumbnails and titles and help each other improve their YouTube, um, like, yeah, appearance and brand. But yeah, mainly targeted for like smaller streamers. Because I need that sort of help, really. I don't have it. I don't know. I know. I know streamers, but I. I don't speak to anyone in a collective. Should be kind of cool. Is that what that is? Love the idea. Genuine support Discord, not just follow for follow. So what sub count would be the cutoff? Nah, there won't be a cutoff. If you've got like fifty billion subscribers, you can still join. That's fine. But the the criteria would be that you're an active streamer. If you if you stream like once a year for a little for or like you don't stream once a year, but you like I don't know maybe you upload the odd record video, record a video, but you don't edit it. Like you're you're not in the criteria. I'm talking people that want to actually build a brand, build a career online, and you know, are passionate about it. I'm talking about them sort of people. They're trying, try, trying things, trying to, trying to make their way on on YouTube. Yeah, or t or Twitch, whatever. But yeah, I'd love, I'd love, I'd love that. So it'd be like, imagine, yeah, Braden, myself, uh, Elwood, um, Tag. Yeah, sassy. Just, yeah, I could keep going and going and going, but it would be cool. Let me know whenever you create make a community. Some of the knowledge regarding content creation. Should I just make one right now and just start, and then and then add you guys? Then I'll start building the server when I'm bored. Not when I'm bored. When I got a minute, I'm never bored. I don't have the luxury of being bored. Old phrase that kicks around. Oh, how do you do this? Start from a template. Uh, study group. Yeah, I guess it's like that. Artist creators. Yeah, that's it. Or me and my friends. Club or community. Um, streamer. What's a good content? Tent. Creator. Community. Some people don't like feedback, or that's their own problem then. We need a cool acronym. CCC is not good enough. We, um... Content has... <laughs> for your content uh knowledge that's what that's what we could call it for your content knowledge um yeah For your content knowledge, aka 
Uh, <laughs> no, we, <laughs> we, can't, we can't call it that. Content creators control room. Yeah, the triple C is kind of... I don't know. Zombie creator support system. Yeah, but i got a friend that doesn't really do zombies as much. Or do we want to tailor it towards zombies? We could do. We could do it. Uh, creators. you got to think bigger than zombie. Creators club. That's pretty catchy. Creators club. Well, let's do let's do CC Creators Club, and then um, yeah, that's fine. Um, do the YouTube colors. We can always change it. We can change the name of the logo later. I just wanted to get something here. Uh, out of glow. I do like making little logos and stuff though. Da, 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 da. Yeah, if you guys want to be drivers, um, I'll give you guys admin. Bam, 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 bam. Slightly off center, but JPEG, there we go, save. Banana, nanny, That looks good. That is clean. Well, right, who am I inviting? We building a uh, close community um, support group for small uh, aimed at aimed at small content 
creators welcome being bigger ones but focus on um oh no support oh, support Ba, 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 edit. Right, generate new link. Copy. There's the link. In fight. There you go. It's in the chat if you want to join. I saw some generic roles and stuff, but um, anyone who wants to to join, uh, <laughs> we can, yeah, we can start building, like helping each other out. So we'll have like a, a channel for like thumbnail uh, review. Okay create this let's do a new uh category called review um uh, view channels so you put this here i'll put this down here no I'll put this up here and then here so this is a review channel so you can do thumbnail um i'll probably do thumbnail review um post um nails for critique review we probably do the same thing for um um uh title review as well so Uh, mod view add. Uh, oh, I need to make those server settings. Uh, roles, create role. Uh, uh, server settings. Let's do. Um, Okay, and I want to do this one view manage server uh, I think that's literally it just the manage server one is needed So uh, I think that's it. Uh, admin. Uh, save. View server as raw. Well. Great invite. Oh, I don't have the, the rights to. Let's let's. I thought I could get away with that, but no. Let's uh, let's do illustrate it. Save and view server as raw. Okay, yeah, there we go. That's better. That's good. Back to raw settings. Admin. I don't know who, who to make admin. <laughs> yeah, if you turn on that, you get all proofs. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, yeah.
Yeah, I kind of like to... Yeah, we're still alive. Back. Are we back? Yeah, it's crashing and stuff. It's not letting me... Uh, I'll, I'll try and sort it out in a bit. But yeah. Um, so the idea is that we're going to... On this server... Um, we'll help each other out. And... Um, yeah. Build a, a place... Where... You can literally... Yeah, have support and get feedback on things. That's what I'm missing in life. I'm missing that support network for for streaming. It can be everything. It can be feedback for things. It could be like if you're having a mental health crisis or whatever it is. You know, if you're getting over like stressed or whatever, you can talk there. Um, if you don't know how to do something. You can ask there and people will be able to help each other out. But the idea is that it is a place for people to grow their online brands, um, mainly. Like, that's the core, core plan for it. Um, yeah. Just join thought it was your internet. No, it's my I don't oh it shouldn't be my internet. I think it's more of a a computer related issue than an internet related issue. Yeah, my uh, my computer's rebuilding its drives at the moment and it's doing some funky stuff. Cause I had one of my one of my drives died. And so I bought another drive and stuck it in and it's been mirroring all the data and, and while it's been doing that it's just been going a bit wild doing a, bit, a lot of crazy things oh my print's finished I'm gonna go get it I'll be right back This might be, this might be the coolest thing I've 3D printed yet. It's a, it's a flower vase. Look at that. That's so cool. It's a very simple thing, but yeah. Look, here's a squirtle that I printed. Wait, let me, let me put me on the big screen. This is important stuff. Um... <laughs> Yeah, look. So I printed this vase. It's finished. Oh, it's so cool. Yeah, it's got like a twisty effect to it. And I printed this squirtle. So, yeah. I, I'm painting him at the moment. I've done the edge of his shell. Um, to get the edge of his shell done. And then I'm going to do the shell. Um, and then I'm going to do the belly. And then I'll do the eyes. And the, you know, the mouth and all that. But yeah. I've only done the edge of his shell so far so the the rest of what's like bled over is just because i thought it would improve the color of the base but yeah that's the uh i think that's the only thing well obviously the, the perks but that's the only thing i'm keeping at the moment that's that i painted yeah yeah he's i don't think is that gonna focus no it's not gonna focus it's focusing on me yeah um, 
This is the longest thing I've ever printed. This is, disclaimer, this is just made out of plastic. It's a prop. Um, but yeah, it's um, quite a tall um, plastic katana. It's kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's a toy. Okay, it's a toy. It's a toy. It's a toy. I don't own anything real. Got to say that because... I um I had one of my videos taken down because I thought I had a real a real weapon on my live stream, but it was a toy prop. And then I I I I press I went and submitted a review. They didn't let me type anything in, and they then denied it again, even though it was a toy. So yeah, if I do it again, I'll get a strike on my channel apparently. So I gotta be really careful. It's like there's people with literally rockets and flamethrowers and real guns and all sorts, you know, putting out content. And then there's me in England with toys that aren't real, and uh, and almost losing my channel that I've worked for like nine, eight, nine years on, or whatever it is. So I just gotta gotta be careful, man. Yeah. What are you doing to the vase? Oh, whenever you print something, sometimes you get like tiny little um, hairs, like there. I don't even see that tiny little hair. You see that tiny little hair right there? Like, my finger's like right on it now. Well, that tiny little hair that's right there, you give it a, a little bush bush and then it's gone. So yeah, a little, a, a little burst of um, yeah, a blowtorch. It just cleans it up a little bit. Mostly, this is fine, so it's all good now. Yeah, that's cool, man. Right, that vase. I get. I haven't told Rama, but this is a little gift for her. Little, that sort of vase. Yeah, it's even got a cool little pattern on the bottom. Yeah. It's a letter opener. This is a cleaning tool, this. Right. This is for, this is for cooking and for arts and crafts. It's an arts and crafts tool. Yeah. Oh, one of my coolest prints, actually, is right in front of you. Is this thing. Um, My microphone mount broke. Oh, it's been broken for about two years. Like, if I try and screw this into the bottom of my microphone, look at this. It doesn't screw in. It doesn't screw in. Because the threads are completely worn. It's like a solid piece of metal. It, 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 it doesn't fit in the microphone anymore. So my microphone was just, like, flopping around on, on this boomstick. Um, and I just had to be careful... I don't know if you guys have been seen on my streams when I've knocked my microphone and it's literally fallen off the boom arm. So I'm really careful. So I, I 3D printed this and it's um it's a shock mount. So it's actually held together with elastic bands. Like so there's elastic bands and um there's BBs. So I've got these um these BBs, little ball bearings. And uh they're on the inside. Um, and that allows it to rotate around so I can rotate it and it floats and it floats in the air as well because it uses um, it uses elastic bands. I got the elastic bands from the supermarket um, when because when you get vegetables in the UK, like if you get broccoli or if you get like uh, if you're fancy and you get some asparagus, for example, uh, you get these little elastic bands that hold it together. Um, and so whenever I get the vegetables i just have these elastic bands lying around so i didn't actually i already had the ball bearings so i didn't actually have to buy anything to build this i already had it all which is kind of cool so now i've got a cool uh microphone shock mount that sort of has the microphone in a better orientation so yeah um There's a nut here, so I feel like if I lost that from somewhere. 
Oh, the end of the arm. Does that mean it was about to, it was about to fall off and hit me in the knee or something? That wouldn't be fun. <laughs> Engineering the ice way, yeah. Don't spend any money. Try and do it for free. Best way to do it. You can print a new screw. <laughs> yeah, you can print screws. It's just they're not the best things to print. Like, they're all right if you print them at this sort of scale. Like, if it's this sort of scale and this big, then it's fine. Um, but when you get smaller, uh, they're not that strong because it's still plastic at the end of the day. It's not like metal. So they're not, they're not amazing for things like that. Yeah, that's a, that's a headphone mount, so I can have my headphones sort of hanging off my desk. Um, I will show you one other thing, actually. I'm going to go grab it. I'll be right back. Now, I printed this for Rama, but it doesn't fit her computer. It's um, it's a Darth Vader keycap. So, <laughs> yeah, I printed that. Um, and, I mean, it's meant to go on the escape key. So, I can show you. Uh, I grab this, pull it off, then put a. Uh... Wait, is that the right size? Yeah, it's the right size. Okay, I just haven't lined it up right. Wait, wait. Hello? The most flattering angle, like this. <laughs> This is just join the new server. Oh, oh, hello. <laughs> that could be on the 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 do's and don'ts of streaming. Yeah, don't don't ever look up at your face. Love the new angle. Oh, cheers. Yeah, let me. I think I need to file this keycap thing down a little bit. Oh, that looks good. Well, see, it's easier to file something down than it is to add plastic back, but that looks better. Let me try that before I grab the camera. What does the difference look like? All right. Rama's back. Chin streams only, yeah, that's it. You're all right. Oh, I left that there. I'm trying to put the laser on there. Oh, yeah. I don't get it. If I forget that and press down, it goes on. If I get this. Oh, is that a support? I think that's a support. I haven't pulled that out. Yeah, that's why. Right. Oh, there it goes. Hey! hey. <laughs> <laughs> it works. There it is. The little. Um, I like the light up when it's very red. So. Yeah, I can set the, set the color to. Uh, Red, maybe. Oh, I don't know how to so set it to red. 
I don't know. I need to go into the. Yeah. Yeah. It. Yeah. It's probably the last thing you need. But. <laughs> I mean, I use the escape key all the time. But it being that tall is probably gonna be. It. Huh? Oh. Su Surprise! Happy gift of printing. <laughs> There's no money in it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, that, I was just telling them I was going to do a gift. The bars. Pretty cool. Do you like it? Yeah. Now I can buy you cheaper bouquets of flowers because it's smaller. <laughs> Thank God no one heard you. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. So I need to do your things, whatever you're doing. Uh, arts, says Farmer. Hi. Says Hello Rama. Right. Yeah, yeah, half. Half seven is good. Right. How we doing, uh, Zace? Zace, girl, what's, what's up? Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's a uh, blue yeti <laughs> mic stand. I use I use a blue blue yeti mic stand. You use a blue bit. Yeti, yeti, yeah, that was a, a terrible joke. Didn't deserve that. All right. Da 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 da. Don't laugh at it, man. That was. <laughs> That was off. <laughs> right. Bam, 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 bam. We've got the guest room here. Don't know what way out the better. Use the HyperX Mac mic. Or one of these. Well, you've actually got. You've actually got a HyperX like mic. Because this is a HyperX mic. I don't know if you meant this one. Right. Um, I should get a feel for the area. Yeah, you can hear what it sounds like, the difference. This is this is the HyperX. When I... When I... Um, when I streamed with this like a few weeks ago, people were like, oh, you've got a new mic. Very nice. And some other people were like, oh, what's up with your mic, bro? <laughs> it's broken. <laughs> no, no, no. It's not broken. It's using a different one. Because the difference is that with this one, like, I have my whole desk, like, open to me. And then if I use the, the boom arm mic... Well, you get a better quality, um, but it's a visual disruptor. I kind of, I have to touch type for like, because the, the I'll show you my point of view so you can see what I'm talking about here. But yeah. So, wait, what's going on? This is my point of view. So here's me. And then if you see my point of view, um, if I look down, I can't see the keyboard. So I have to, I have to touch type on the left hand side of my keyboard. So every key I press, um, every key I press is, is uh, muscle memory. It's not, yeah.
Right. I'm going to go. Um, because I have got... I want to mess around with the 3D printer. Basically, I've got a... Um, I've, I'll show you. I'll show you before I go. Let me save. Right. Ba 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 Right here. I right, check this out. So, my uh, 3D printer nozzle is a 0 0.4. Um, and uh, and if I wanted to um. If I wanted to print this with the normal configuration, so it would look like this. We, I can show you how long it would take to print. So that print probably took like 13 hours or something because I had it sped up on three times, like 300%. See, that says 22 hours. So that says 22 hours, 150 grams of plastic. Well, if I change a few things, I'll change the no nozzle size. And this is what I want to go and do. I want to go and change the size of the nozzle. I want to change the layer height thickness. So, um, top layers two, bottom layers two. Cool. I don't think we need an infill because of the shape. Um, Set those to 60. Okay. Spiralize. Now, if we check it out, 51 minutes. So it's changed from tw taking 23 hours that, at, that sped up using uh, a modifier. Took about, I don't know. So I'll just say 13 to 13 to 16 or something, I think it took. Um to yeah, to that. And then if I change the nozzle size and tweak the settings, um, I can get it down to 51. But I'll have a speed up as well of 300 percent So um it's hard to calculate because it's not it's not a straight three times faster because there's acceleration. So do you have overheat? No, it's it, it heats up on purpose to burn, to melt the plastic. So yeah, there are th runaway protectant protectors or protections in there. So, yeah, you can see the difference that it'll make. If I go here, the um, the thickness of the walls is going to be different. So yeah, very different, but it'd still be quite cool. So I'm going to try it out. Yeah. If I keep everything the same, but I go back to the the nozzle that I have uh, in right now, then 53 minutes. It's only two minutes faster. Oh no, because the layer height's wrong. Yeah, like the uh, we can't we can't do that as a layer height. Yeah. Uh, okay. Can't do that either. Three and a half hours. So three and a half hours of the current nozzle. Um, uh, sorry, I didn't put it on the low quality. Let me keep that. Let me keep that. Keep that. Keep that. Two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. Um. Um. Yeah. And that still looks pretty good. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try printing it really fast and seeing how it looks. Yeah, if you if you print it with the infill, so like this infill here, um, 
Usually, like, 20% is the default. That means that it will generate... Um, it will generate the... Wait, what? Where's the infill? It's not generating infill. Is it because of how thin it is? Oh... Why no infill, bro? I think it's bugs. But yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go to this out. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, I will see you guys on the next one. Be back on Wednesday. Uh, probably be doing mainly some, um, mainly some development. Yeah, you you can change the uh, you can change the thickness of everything. So I um, let me show you this. Let's show you this real quick. So we've got a Black Ops 3 text. And if I slice this. Um, oh. That's making... Yeah, it's not doing a top layer. Oh, it needs inverting. Oh, that's it. good to know. I was trying to show you what an infill looks like. Bam, 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 bam. Let's use this model as an example. Oh, is it because it's bars? Ah, uh, yeah, let's turn it off. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's because it's VARs. That's why it's disabled. If I turn the shell off, you can see it fills. It fills. That's the, the fill on the inside. It does a, like a strengthening pattern. And how strong you have it. It's up to you. You can change, change it. We can set it to 20%. Make it even more. Yeah, that's twenty percent. That's the default sort of strength. So it's pretty much hollow, but eighty percent air. Yeah, it's really cool. You can pass in any model you like, and it will turn it into a a three D model. So um, I've got uh, my. So here's one I designed. Five eleven forty four. Five eleven. So here's one I designed. Oh, this might take a minute to import. Maybe I shouldn't have picked this as an example. By the way, Joseph, who won the um, he won the uh, Speakola perk, perk keychain on the giveaway. Uh, I'm trying to contact you. I have your Discord, but you haven't added me back, and your the messages are bouncing, so I'm not able to actually. I'm not able to send you your thing. You need to send me. You need to send me. You need to add me so I can send you stuff. 
Like this here is an Oral B electric toothbrush holder. It sits on this little rock here, sort of like this. And it's Darth Vader strangling your toothbrush. So I've printed this. This is in the bathroom. Holding my toothbrush up. Yeah. I might sell this online. I don't know what's a good price to sell it for. Like a tenner or something. Maybe 20. Maybe that's over the kill. That's going to take ages to slice. I'm not, not going to bother. Yeah. Alright. See you guys. Take care. See you on Wednesday. Wednesday, uh, yeah, we'll be um, working probably on the Jake's house. So. Yeah. Oh, it's finished slicing. Yeah, there, there's the there's the infill. Um, and then yeah, the shell. So you can see where it does all the lines. Yeah, thirty five dollars. That's probably too much. All right. Peace. Yeah, Wednesday be good. We'll get loads done. Robert, uh, Ice, I love all your maps. Subscribe to them on stream. With the Go Custom Dog. Hey, appreciate that, man. Thank you. Very kind comment. How you doing, Ivo, by the way? Doing all right? Good to see you. Um, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, if you are a streamer, if you're a streamer and you want to... Um, you want to join the the new streaming Discord for content creators, just to help help each other out with stream, you know, with streaming questions and advice and support. Yeah. All right. Peace.